Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here as we celebrate Mass here in the worship space along with those that are following along at home on, on the free stream. Today's uh, Mass is being offered for the intention of Mary Kinder and for Gertrude and Francisco Velosis. And we continue to celebrate this Mass also for those people who are sick in a very special way for our Deacon, Deacon Myers Proctor. The Lord will come and will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ your Son, we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, Juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven, woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day, it will be said, Behold our God to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall rejoice in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Live in the house of the Lord. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall be the and the Lord is alive. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I shall be the Lord. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord in years to come. I shall be with the Lord in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are they prepared to meet him. Alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed him at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for this crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have had nothing to eat. I do not wish to send them away hungry for fear that they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do we have? Seven, they said, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. He took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Yes, to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, Last Sunday, I mentioned about uh, the way we prepare during this time of Advent. How do we prepare this Advent? And waiting, sometimes it can be uh, alarming to us and even to be so hectic and stressful. In today's gospel, we see Jesus, the way he impacts people's lives, and each one in a unique way. Today, he reminds us that put your trust in me. Whatever you do, do it for the grace of God. Don't show that you cannot do anything. God has given us so many things we can make a difference in people's lives. Today, Jesus challenges us. How do we see those people in need? Do we recognize them? Do we follow them? Do we attend them in their needs? And he's asking his disciples, his his apostles and disciples, give them food. And they say, how can we give them food while we know we have only this small thing? Why don't you let them go? Jesus said, no. We are here to support each other. We are here to show the glory of God. Let us do it. Each one, let us participate. Let us work together. Let us connect God's glory, God's power, and human power. Last year, when we encountered this COVID-19, social ministry was not closed. It continued to support the needy people, to provide for their needs, and people used to come and ask for help. We would have said we don't have anything to provide. But through the power of God, we continue to support. And it is through your prayers and your generous heart. Today, Jesus challenges us that remember, whatever you do, you are not doing by yourself. God always intervenes in your lives. Whatever you have, even if it is a little thing, it can make a difference. Social ministry every day does miracles on behalf of this wonderful community. On your behalf, today we have finished one week helping 
we call homeless, but I would like to say our brothers and sisters who are in need that have been with us since last Wednesday. We have been supporting them through prayers, through generous heart, but also for being present in their lives. Today's gospel brings us to our attention that we have something to make a difference. And each one is unique. Let us open our heart as we continue to prepare ourselves this time of Advent. We are waiting for the coming of our Lord, but also we are waiting for his grace and for his loving power to transform us and to bring us to our responsibilities. Let us do it as we join together as a family. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity so that we can prepare ourselves as you are coming to transform our lives. Give us courage so that we can see the needs people in our lives. And for this we pray. We pray for all we do, especially through social ministry, but also in all our services at here at the Church of Ascension, give us courage always to humble ourselves and to recognize your presence. And for this, we pray. We pray for our country as we continue to be united together through prayers and also through peace and justice. Give us courage always as we walk together to listen from the heart. And for this, we pray. We pray for those who are in need so that, God, you may continue always to bring them closer to us so that we can support each other and even to be present to their needs. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Now let us pray together this prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and save our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation and for all those who, throughout the years, have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, or have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask thee through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it become our for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed us at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we are clear. Heaven and earth, Hosanna. Blessed be who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that if partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Mary Kinder, Gertrude and Francesco Beilorisis, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in their hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Amen. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said it to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, 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 peace. God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Let us pray. We employ your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching live stream mass also, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Let us continue to support each other as we continue to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.